Good morning, boys and girls. It is good to see you here. How many of you, when you wake up to go to school in the morning, have to look in the mirror to make sure that you look okay? You are, Christopher, you look great, buddy. Nice. She does, she looks in the mirror. Is that bad or good, Max? That's good, yes. Raise your hand if you've ever forgot to look in the mirror and walked out the door. Yes. Audrey, I do that all the time. And sometimes I just forget certain things. In fact, one time, true story, I showed up at church and I was wearing Crocs because I didn't put my shoes on. Now, is there anything about my appearance that is not really acceptable? What's wrong, Max? I'm missing a shoe. Oh, I did it again. What else is wrong? Is there anything wrong with my appearance? You're looking at me a little, what do you think, guys? What could be improved? Does this look good, Max? What, what, what's wrong, Madison? But what, what about, is the, is the stole look good right now? Or is it a little off kilter? Do you think this should be even? Should I straighten this out? Okay, good. Should I put my shoe on? Do you think that would be good? Does it make you feel awkward, Max? Here. Put the shoe back on. Now, was that difficult for you to point that out, Max? Thank you, friend, for doing that. Because sometimes people don't. It'd be terrible if I went through, if I preached the whole sermon and I didn't have a shoe on. Everybody online would see it. It'd be embarrassing, right? Well, what if, what if somebody in your classroom comes in and uh, maybe they had their shirt untucked? Or maybe you go to the bathroom and there's a piece of toilet paper on your shoe and you're walking through? Wouldn't you want someone to tell you? Or maybe you just ate something and there's a big thing of, you know, something in your teeth. And you're talking to somebody and they just say, you may want to just like, you know, you point that out to a friend, right? But do people always like to hear that? Not always. Some people get mad if you point out things that are bad. Now you're just trying to help. So there's a risk. And so you think, well, what does God want me to do? God would want me to point out what is wrong, especially if it's a sin. If they're doing something that you know is not God-pleasing, like if a friend is being mean to somebody else in your class, you say, you know, you really shouldn't talk like that. They might not like you. There's a real cost to being a Christian, and so God says, yeah, consider it. You have to take, well, it's, it is a risk to be a Christian. And God says, consider the risk and know what might happen, and it's worth it, because your God wants you to do it. And the risks get bigger and bigger um, when you see all that's going on. It's interesting sometimes. And I think we need God's help, so we're going to pray. Heavenly Father, please bless our efforts as we try to be Christians and point out what's wrong in other people's lives in love. We need to speak the truth in love, Lord. But sometimes there's a risk for us, and there might be a cost. Help us to take that willingly because that is what you would have us do as we glorify you, Lord. Amen. You're excused to go to your Sunday school class.